Hello, my name is Nicholas Beer. I am from West Dorset and I live in the countryside and I am a vegan. Firstly, I was doing lots of research into food and the internet and, and then generally going to the supermarket, looking on the back of um, you know, the packages and seeing what ingredients were in there. And then from that, then you realize where your meat's coming from, where the dairy's coming from. So then I then decided to look up on the internet, okay, is living a plant-based diet um, nutritional for me? And yes, it is. I can get uh, enough nutrients. For my veggies. <laughs> or plenty of nutrients, actually, from having a plant-based diet. And is it sustainable? And it's definitely sustainable because we are not growing food for animals because they have to use so much water to make feed for the cows. So then we can slaughter them and then have food ourselves, but we're growing food from the land. So, you know, in these winter months, I'll be having lots of ginger and cayenne pepper in a smoothie with lots of dark leafy greens, because that will give me lots of iron and the cayenne pepper will heat my body up and the ginger will keep the circulation going. So having lots of big smoothies in the morning and then having nice fresh salads in the afternoon and then normally coming home and having a juice and then in the evening having lots of you know maybe more carbohydrate protein lots of peanut butter but i f feel very energized when i'm eating now the food is giving me energy i'm energizing myself when before i was using it as like just food Power every hour. <laughs> no, 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 where's bloody knife sharpener? Hi, I'm John from South Dorset and um, we butcher and eat our own meat. Hi, I'm Tim, John's dad. I'm going to be giving John a hand slaughtering this lamb. A bit apprehensive, don't really know what to expect. Obviously, it's going to get killed, but I don't think I'm ever seen it. A life slaughtering before sure it's so. Not a it's quite a rewarding thing to eat your own eat your own your own meat. Oh, it's not sharp you produce yourself and see it from lamb to lamb to plate. So it's, yeah, it's nice. It's a good experience. And it and I don't know whether it's a psychological thing, but I don't know. You always think your own your own meat tastes better. <laughs> Sunday roast. We rear all our sheep on a, on a grazing system, so they, their diet is 100% grass. They're outside all year round. Um, in terms of mass-produced lamb, they're probably doing more more intense system in a shed, fed on sort of concentrates and fattened a lot quicker um, to get to get the end product. Right, so get axle. Yeah. Which I think, yeah, probably a bit cruel. It's good if, if you want to produce a lot of meat and make a lot of money, it's good. In terms of quality, uh, in, in general terms, if you give time, something time to mature and, and grow naturally, it will, um, be a more flavoursome end product. The lungs were clean, the liver was nice and clean. But I think people should be more aware um, of, of where their meat comes from. Um, well, that's, like that's four or five people, yeah, 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 if you so sit so down, well, you cook a big leg like that. Yeah. And you've got all your ribs, you've got your chops and then. Probably about 16 kilograms of meat. Just so concentrated on doing it properly and quickly because as soon as you slow down and like that's the worst thing is if it, if it wakes up the oh. consciousness yeah that'd be bad the fact that imports are cheap um means people can buy danish bacon for a lot less than they can buy english bacon which i think is wrong um that needs to change and also a lot of lamb new zealand lamb is imported a lot and it's cheaper 
so people 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 obviously will tend to buy what's cheaper. I think it's something that needs to change. John's going first hand to the source and he's raising the sheep themselves, seeing the whole process from his own land, off his own grass, you know, and caring for the sheep. He can at the end of the day have a meal and really appreciate where that food has come from and know the whole process in which it's developed from the seedling all the way through to you know, the ripeness. You know, the whole process they are doing themselves. So that's inspiring for me because, you know, I want to know where my food comes from as well. Could you just bag that leg up? Yeah. That's a good leg. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really that, I'm not, I'm not really that clued up on the whole diet thing and what, and what you really should be eating. I just eat what I like, to be honest. Which tends to be meat quite a lot of the time. Being around Nick makes me, makes me try a lot of stuff that I would never, never eat. It's quite dangerous for you because you're trying to cut its throat while it's wriggling and then you cut yourself. Like yourself, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I probably would like to adopt more, if I was organised enough, to adopt more. <coughs> Um, of his dietary tendencies, but not not solely. <laughs> but maybe maybe some raw veg alongside a nice joint of lamb would would be would be would be more my style. <laughs> the vegan diet probably is a bit more sustainable, and yeah, maybe maybe eating less meat would be would be a good thing, and have it more as a treat, and don't let it dominate the diet. It's more common now, isn't it, that people are sort of taught about veganism, aren't they? <laughs> so the more aware you become of it, the more <laughs> the more you kind of try it. I mean, that ice cream is good. I like that is some good ice cream. Yeah, that caramel. Mm. Yeah, wow, oh, man, that was good. That was real good. I'm not trying to say don't eat meat, but I'm just want to tell people, you know make them think again of, okay, well, is this animal being killed humanely? Or, you know, has it had a good life? Or has it been looked after well? Or has it had a bad life in a dark, cold place? You need to know if that, that meat is good, wholesome, organic meat. Yeah, it might come at a, a bit of an extra price, but what's the price of a life at the end of the day?